Okay. Um, not the out, not the outcome that that we were looking for at all, but uh, really do appreciate the, the the toughness that our team displayed just uh, in preparation uh, throughout this week and uh, coming in here and and really playing uh, really tough and played winning football in in a lot of ways and. Uh, Certain areas, uh, obviously, we didn't uh, credit them. That's a very good team, and uh, we know coming in here in a tough environment it was going to be uh, very challenging. But our team was up for it. Um, I think you know we finished the game down ten starters, and that's no excuse. It's just a fact, and uh, I really do appreciate the effort of some of our other guys just stepping up and battling, and you know giving us an opportunity in the fourth quarter to. Uh, you know, to take the lead, and uh, and uh, it didn't happen. So, uh, you know, again, not the outcome we're looking for, but proud of the effort. Mark, you talked about just how they embraced the challenge. What do you think stuck that got that kind of inspired performance out of them? Oh, we just we you know we have to. There's no there's no other option. You know, we have to play like that. You know, to have a chance. You know, that's where we're at right now. Um, so, you know, we just uh, you know have to play extremely hard, uh, you know, put our guys in a position to be successful and, um, you know, against a team like that is always balanced and uh, good on both sides and good on all three phases. Um, but, uh, you know, you got to make tough plays in critical moments and, uh, you know, the, they make the pick and, you know, um, you know, we have a read on there. I'd like to see, uh, you know, we wanted them to run it there and go for it on fourth. but. Uh, he thought it was open and, uh, you know, got to pick. Mark, you mentioned 10 starters down. Do you have hope that McKinney or many of those guys will be back after the bye? I, I don't, you know, I don't know. I'll give that update. You know, we're we're pretty we're pretty beat up right now, so I don't know, you know, where we're at. Mark, is it, was the plan to go with Brock the whole way? Had yes. Been? Yeah. Why do you think he like played he before he got I there? thought he was playing. I thought he was playing, you know, playing ball. You know, t tough environment, tough defense. Um, I thought he was doing some really good things. You know, and you know, obviously, you got to have some help when we had time. When we, you know, I thought we had some protection early, mixed it up pretty good, and then uh, obviously a critical moment was the you know the 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 sack fumble early in the second. You know, or yeah, but early in the second half, right, third in third quarter there early. That was a critical moment, but uh, but I thought he was playing some good football. Sorry, go ahead. Michael, Sorry. It seemed like you got. Yeah. Overcame adversity at times where you know maybe you had him in some games, you know, but and the tough end on that first drive when yeah. you come back with that touchdown on the second drive and the rock interception, you come back and score before the half. Yeah. Rock gets out, Gavin leads the drive. Who, is that encouraging that you saw them overcome some hiccups? Oh well, absolutely. You know, you know you're gonna, you know, in an environment like this, you know, in an SEC road game that you're gonna hit adversity, and uh, you know we talked about it all week. You know, just just swing back. And uh, you know, I do I do think our guys did that. What did you see from Wilcox on the night where he kind of took over the backfield? Yeah, I thought you know he he you know really uh, did some good things. Um, you know, yeah, I mean, he's starting with the the first run of the game. I think that was an explosive, and then then they slowed him down a little bit, but he still ended up uh, with a hundred. I mean, he you know he makes some people miss, and he's doing a good job. So we got to keep on feeding him the ball. How do you think so, your secondary heals up overall? Overall, you know, considering the situation we were in, uh, being extremely thin, you know, I thought we held up okay. I mean, the inexperience showed late, you know, with not being tight enough on that third down there. They're late, you know. We gotta, we gotta tighten up there, um, you know. Obviously, you know, and inexperienced guy out there, but we got we got coaching. We got to do a better job with that that play. But overall, um, you know, in a tough situation, being down a lot of guys, they fought pretty hard. Mark, talking about those that third down, there was another one just you know, two plays before there. How frustrating is it, despite you know, the injuries, when kind of seems like third and long has been a problem, when it's been a topic of conversation. Yeah, I think you know it, it's hard. I mean, you know, you know, against uh, good teams, I mean, uh, you know, it's hard. You know, it's challenging, but uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's frustrating. Mark Tamori had the touchdown catch and the two point conversion catch. Both of those look like really nice plays, but he's barely been in the yeah. game when it feels like the rest of the season. What, what exactly is 
I think you know it's it's you know even late there when we're throwing it and in, in two minute you know in a hurry up, the ball's still not finding them in those situations. You know whether it's rushing or quarterback running around or things like that. I mean, but you're right when you have an opportunity to throw him a competitive ball, he has an opportunity to come down with it a lot. That's one of his strengths, and we do have to try to get him in a position where, you know, just like tonight, when he got in a one-on-one -on -one with a 50-50 ball, he came down with two in a row there, and, uh, you know, that was good to see, and I'd like, I think we'd all like to see more opportunities follow him that way, but, you know, a lot of times, like, it's not just a simple, I mean, people are mixing things up. They're not just pressing us and giving them a chance at those, you know, the inside fade where, you know, uh, you know, it just, it just hasn't presented itself as much for one, one way or another. But uh, I'd like to see him get some more opportunities as well. Mark, this is a defense standing game. And Ting and giving up less than 80 rushing yards a game. You guys more than double that. So kind of what can you say about the play of your offensive line tonight? Yeah, I thought we uh, showed some, some growth and, you know, they, they, you know, played better. I thought we were showed a presence of being physical and, uh, you know, even the protection was good at times. I mean, at times, you know, obviously not good enough. And, you know, that was a really good group we were going against. And, uh, you know, I thought we had a good plan. And, uh, you know, there were some critical moments in there, critical downs that, you know, I wish we had executed better. Generally speaking, it felt like the offense was more explosive than it's been a while. A lot more guys were over. Was there any significant changes made to the offensive game plan going into that? No, I think, you know, the ability to be – you know, 50-50, uh, be able to run it and throw it early was the whole key. You know what I mean? That, that we made some plays on first down. We had some good protections, hit some, you know, ex you know, explosives or intermediate uh, throws there early. And I think that's the key, uh, you know, being able, you know, the first run, the explosive run, you know, to start the game helps you, you know, with, the, with keeping them a little bit off balance. As you know, you know if it's predictable pass, then you know like late, then then it's not our strength there. Mark, you guys find that resolved and you know fight through a lot. Adversity don't come out on the winning side there. Now after four straight losses, you got the injuries piling up. What's the message to the team to try to get them to come back again after five? Yeah, I mean we just got to keep on doing what we did with the with the preparation, with getting their bodies healed up, getting their minds healed up and trying to use our time wisely, look at, you know, options to play better, you know, and, and but I, I love their resolve. I love the way they prepared and they fought and, you know, uh, the outcome again wasn't what we're looking for. But, uh, you know, if they'll continue to prepare that way and, and fight, then that's all we could do. Yeah, I think it's, you know, it's it's important. I mean, like, you know, like any team, you know, down the down the stretch just, you know, you know, building your roster, you know, and finishing strong. I mean, our our mindset will be to, you know, finish strong, but as coaches as a head coach, of course, you've got to look at big picture, uh, you know, and and your roster and what's going on. There's a lot of a lot of things to keep up with right now. Well, Mark, I want to just get your thoughts on on Gavin on the interception where he you didn't give one play and it takes the Guy down 60 yards, at least yeah. Touchdown right there. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he he should have. <laughs> I say that tongue in cheek. Don't everybody come at me. You know what I mean? I I appreciate his effort. You know, I you know I love the young man, and he went out there and played some good football. You know, he's nobody's. You know, it's not going to be perfect, and you know he did he did some good things in some tough situations as well, and so. You know, we'll, you know, we we have confidence in him, and and I appreciate him running him down. Mark, so. Have you ever had a quarterback who just seems so much better at throwing the long ball than the short pass? Um, I think it happens. I, th I think it happens. Um, you know, with you know, um, and I I think you know Gavin is plenty capable of throwing intermediates as well. It's you know, it's really a matter of uh, you know us executing and. You know, doing the making the simple look simple. You know, making the routine look routine, and uh, he certainly can do that. Um, you're on. He's under a lot of duress too. You know, that, that's a that's a. This is a team that's going to put your quarterback in an uncomfortable situation, and you have to credit them for that. You knew that going into it. Again, I think, uh, you know, talking about Tennessee, I think they have a really complete team and and uh, have a great opportunity here uh, to make some noise down the stretch. So. Yeah, yeah. 
<clears throat> I don't know. He was not. Uh, he had to go get checked out, and um, you know, he went to the hospital and came back, and he he wanted to go back in, but he was not cleared to go back in. What was the thought process in that early go for decision on fourth down? Uh, just just one just went for it. Felt felt like we we're gonna have to score some points. You know. All right. Thank you, Coach. Yep. Appreciate it. Thank you. We'll have coordinators and.